A bank has burst and has caused destructive floods to wreak havoc upon this small village in Kent. And today we're going to be talking about the conflict between Iran and America. But today I have learned about how to identify fake news and what it's all about, which was quite eye-opening since the media could be quite full of misleading information. I'm Bobby Jeffrey and I work for BBC South East. I'm a broadcast journalist there, which means I'm re responsible for helping put the programme together and find stories, really. Um, we've been here today with loads and loads of different children talking about news, what it means to them, how they consume it and how they perceive it in their own minds. So talking about they get to see it on YouTube, they'll see it on social media and whether they believe what they're given or whether they should question everything. And of course they should question everything. I see what I love doing though as an interviewer and as a presenter is just going out the bounds. Today the BBC came into my school and they talked to us about uh, how to tell the difference between real news, fake news and how the BBC and other things can try and put a spin on stuff and we've also learnt uh, how to podcast, how to interview people, how hard it is to get interviews with different people and what cool people uh, people in the BBC have interviewed with. So I'm Suki, I'm from BBC Young Reporter and been one of the team organising the event today here at the Lay Academy and where we've had 60 young people all engaging in different workshops, be it around radio and podcasting, filming, making short news reports on iPads, and also learning about real and fake news. We do this because we want young people to learn more about the creative industries, hopefully teach them a range of skills that they need to be able to work as journalists or in the creative industry, in the media, skills that they already have and they don't realise that they have, but hopefully we accentuate those skills and show them that actually they too can be journalists by just using a phone in their pocket, uh, a tablet that they've got at home, that they too can make audio podcasts, they too can make audio, they too can make films. Um, it's all about them telling their story their way.